Hello and welcome back to the TriCraft server with me, Trionus. Currently using the Crack Pack Mod Pack. Uh, so it's Monday, so that normally means a catch up episode, but I'm hoping to do a little bit more than just a catch up episode. Uh, I would really like to try and kill a wither and get the signal, the division signal, and maybe even try to get it activated as well, all in this episode. So uh, there may be one or two cuts and butts, uh, but we'll see how far we get. Uh, but those are the main two things I really want to do, so I may just rush around to get the catch-up bit out of the way and let you know what I've been doing. Uh, which isn't really a right lot, it's been mainly more time-consuming stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, the main project that I've been working on over the weekend is trying to get my Enderman uh, Shoal, 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 I can't pronounce it, Enderman Soul Shard, there we go, <laughs> uh, up to a tier 5, uh, so what I did, I actually found a, well I didn't find it, I actually found it on my way to my base here, uh, a snow dungeon as I call it, uh, I found one or two other dungeons on the way here but I went and made that one, it was just a case that I didn't go in and attack it as such. I just rushed in, got an enderman spawner, I've even found some more ender lily seeds which you should be able to see just down there. Uh, so I was able to do my own enderman spawner thing. Uh, these are not what they appear, they are not normal cobblestones or stones, these are actually uh, monster eggs with uh, silverfish in them. Oh, I've just been piling them up here, so if anyone wants to find them, feel free if you want the uh, the morph. So this is what I've really been mainly doing, trying to kill Enderman to get this. Now I've only got 344 and a tier 3 shoal sword, and it's really been slow progress, I'll tell you. Because the problem is, I mean you can see... Uh, three of them in there now. Uh, I've actually got night vision on, so that's why you can actually see what I've been doing. Uh, you've got this guy here who's an icy enderman. And you've got that little one there who's uh, called a mini enderman. There may even be that one there who's right next to the spawner. He's a mini enderman. And even though I kill them, they don't count towards the shoal, shoal, so, the soul shard. <laughs> um, so, and there's other ones like Enderman, uh, Lightning Enderman, Mirage Enderman, Thief Enderman, and they're all part of the special mobs mod. Uh, like I said, they just don't count, because even though I've managed to kill 500 plus Enderman, it's only the normal vanilla Minecraft ones that actually count to it. It's been uh, a little bit annoying, so uh, it's a bit slow progress, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost there to a tier 5. Uh, if I put, put them on, uh, tier 3 is 256 kills, tier 4 is 512, so I'm almost there to a tier 4, it's just getting to the tier 5, which is 1024 kills, uh, Eddie's here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Eddie's just joined, we've got Florian Scoop and Lady Ivica, who's uh, back on the server after a quick break as such. Uh, she's been doing her exams at college, so good luck on them, Ivy, really do good luck. I don't know if you watch these or not, but anyway, it's there. <clears throat> uh, so my one of my other problems with this has been mana, because this thing, this plant that I made with... Uh, Botania uh, consumes a lot of mana when I've been fighting a lot of them. Uh, so I've been mainly trying to increase my mana production. So I kind of made uh, a few more of these. Uh, a few more of these day blooms. I uh, made about 11 more of them. I also made some nightshades as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, day blooms collect mana through the sun. Uh, the night bl nightshades are the opposite of that. They cl collect mana uh, from the moon, but they collect less mana than they do the day bloom ones. 
They're fairly easy to make. Okay, just bear with me. Uh, mana generating flower, the uh, nightshades. So you just need two black petals, one grey one, and a purple petal, and some seeds in your apocryphy, this thing, and uh, you make them. I only made five because normally we do sleep through the night, uh, so they don't collect a lot of mana, but. Uh, it's there just in case it's like this night we've actually not slept so uh, which is unusual This over here. These are Hydrangeas hydro plants, whatever you want to call them. They create mana from sucking up water sources uh, So this is kind of like the best design I could come up with. I don't know if there's anything better out there uh, But there's at least 12 of them surrounding this uh, mana spreader to get the mana directly into uh, the distributor. I'll come to that in a second. Uh, to make these guys, uh, you need uh, one blue mana petal. So, you, to make a mana petal, you throw uh, a normal petal into a mana pool, and that creates that. Uh, so you need one blue one, you need one scion mana one, two more s normal scion petals, and a pink one, and a normal blue petal. And uh, again, directly into the topography, and you get your hydrangeas. Uh, like I say, this is kind of the best design I came up with. I, I don't know if there's anything better out there. I did originally do this uh, as the book sh uh, shows hydrangeas. With the square and four on each side and three by three, uh, but uh, then I just kind of started experimenting with different things. Uh, I did try to do like a two by two, which is normally good enough for an infinite water source. But uh, if two sides got drained by these guys, then you just you lost the infinite ability. Uh, so uh, it didn't quite work out. So it kind of evolved over time into what you see here. These are glimmering living woods. Uh, just for like a good bit of decoration purposes I suppose. Uh, they don't really provide they don't really provide uh, too much I didn't even tell him I was recording. <laughs> oh someone else did. Um Ivy told him. I didn't even see that. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, they don't provide a lot of light, but it's like I say, it's just a little bit of decoration purposes, I suppose. It's all made out of living wood planks, even the, the flooring, just to make it look a little bit nicer, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not good at decoration. Ivy's better than me for that. So, this thing. Um... Mana distributor. You might wait. Oh, here we go. Scoops at it now. <sighs> Come on, then. I'm gonna say penis food. Now he's gonna stop now. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back to it. Uh, oh, tits. He's gone for tits. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> things I can't get scoop back because he records at different times than I do. <sighs> uh, anyway, the mana distributor is a cool little device. Uh, now, again, just going back to the book. Uh, now, where is it? Bear with me. Um, can't remember where I found it. But anyway, uh, this is actually made out of six uh, stone, living rock stone, and uh, two, uh, what they call them, mana steels. I haven't actually got any left, uh, but two mana steels and six living, uh, living stone. And you get this uh, mana distributor, and you can actually put four... Uh, mana pulls around and it will evenly distribute easily evenly put the the mana in from whatever you get into the uh, the ma 
uh, the mana pools so that's why I've got three here uh, this one's got the catalyst underneath it so I can change leather into uh, sorry rotten flesh into leather uh, or fish into different types of fish or anything like that so kind of cool uh, <laughs> uh, this one's just a normal mana pool at the moment um, so we'll see what happens but this one is getting transferred into that one and then into this uh, to power that flower it's just to keep everything up and running uh, I also did a bit of decoration work on this uh, runic altar it looks fairly decent like I say I'm no expert when it comes to decoration uh, believe you me uh, but it doesn't look too bad I was just messing around when it came to this because I got fed up a killing enderman I'll tell you uh, so uh, what else have I done like I say I got a few more ender pearls uh, ender lily seeds uh, but I did get a few more ender pearls as well just jump up here because with my time killing all these endermen uh, has yielded some great results uh, I don't think I've ever had m this many ender pearls before uh, and loads of endermen head so I've, like I said I've gone around the server and given people some as well uh, I'll grab them out because they're with the skulls I need um, oh Ryan's coordinates thank you um, so yeah, um, I don't think I've really done... Oh yes, my local setup here, that's one thing I did as well. Uh, basically I got fed up of the quarries uh, being... I'm having to go across and bring stuff back. So I basically set up two ender chests. Uh, one at the quarry, one here, and it basically empties it with the item conduits directly into the chests. It's not fully sorted. Uh, in this golden chest here you can see I've just got uh, iron, copper, two lots of the, the different copper, the flex spears one and the thermal foundation and the tin that goes into this chest uh, through the filter you can see it's all there uh, and this one I've got gold, uh, was it gold, silver, lead and coal uh, goes into that one the rest just gets distributed as on where uh, so I've got diamonds and redstone in that one obsidian diamonds all sorts in this one uh, this one's rather random as well like I say I haven't actually gone through it all because there's a lot of different sorts of resources in there so I'll call that more obsidian just what I do need more obsidian and uh, loads of redstone again so yeah, resources wise, I'm pretty good for quite some time. I'll just look over that iron. And I think I've kind of got the resources that I actually need to do me for, like I say, for quite some time. So I'm happy enough with that, although people do come in and borrow quite a bit of stuff from me. So I mean, I've got loads of it cooked up already. Um, I haven't done any work in the shell. Uh, I'm still coming up with one or two ideas in there. Uh, but yeah, I think that's mainly it. Uh, not too bad summarising it, especially with being interrupted a few times. Uh, but now I think we'll try and get onto something a little bit more interesting and kill our first uh wither it's not gonna be overly exciting uh because killing the wither on this server should be fairly easy put that in there so i know where it is and i'm just gonna put this book back i know where you live thank you and then we'll just nip underground should have actually brought my hammer but we'll be all right and uh, we'll could probably do it about here but uh, let's just go a little bit further down here we go so i'm just going to dig out a quick area and uh, i'll be back as soon as i am ready to kill this thing okay so we are ready i've just dug out a little bit of a hole here and i just need to put this last head on so we can do that 
step back so we don't get hit too much with the explosion. And we should be good to go any second. So there we go. And he's in the job and I get to hit this guy. In a world like this where there's no way to know the weather is very, very easy to kill. Um, one of these days I'll make a little challenge for myself, but there we go. Done. So we get our division signal, our first nether star, and a miniature yellow heart. Oh, yes, that actually reminds me. Uh, you may notice my heart. Uh, I've actually got 10 uh, red heart canisters. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually actually using them for a change. I don't normally bother using them. So we've got that. We've got that. That's easy enough done. So... I uh, could kill another wither, but I can do that off camera. Not the most exciting thing when you can do it like that. Uh, let me just go and put these things back. Uh, they can go in there. Why not? You can go back in there. And you and you can go in there as well. So let's just go down here. And we should good to go for the next one um but oh the is the night just approaching it's or is it some some night i can't quite tell sometimes um no we are actually getting the night cool um uh, we might be able to do this in here and now we will we will see um I actually set this all up. I'm hoping this will work. Uh, just down here. There we are. Slide down fairly quickly, but safely. There we go. Uh, my little ritual area down in my one of my quarries that I finished off. We've got our sacrifice. We've got that. Uh, so hopefully, if I remember rightly, this. All we need, um, uh, you need to activate it, blah, blah, blah. Seems to be a bit more here then. Right, here we are. Place the enchanted table on a patch of dirt or grass. It must be a clear line in the sky. There must be a large part of glass. Let's head right down, yep, done, done, done. Okay, so yeah, we should be good to go. I just need to wait for uh, this to start glowing. So, once again, I will be right back. Okay, so the moon does approach. We've got our signal, so let's... Oh, yes, this actually works. So I'm just going to kill these just for a little bit of fun, they're not going to do a lot of damage to me.
like this. And there we go, that should do. So hopefully anything underneath the, uh, the copper stone won't burn away, so I might be able to harvest that at a later date. Although summer is probably burning because of the fire spreading. It might have been a waste of time. <laughs> Uh, oh well, never mind. We've got what we're after, so the next thing is for me to get out of here. And we just get into blaze form. And we'll just leave that. I can come back to that later off camera, see if any of it is actually survived, but I'm not too bothered about it, quite honest. Uh, I've got a piece, so if I want to spread it, I can do uh, from scoop. So that should be that. So I just need to find a chest. You'll do now. And I'll just dump all of this lot in here. I don't fancy messing about uh, too much with a pickaxe. Uh, later on. Uh, so yeah, I need to take my armor off as well. And the... Uh, I think I should be alright with... Yeah, just to be honest, so I'll take them off. And my sash as well. Okay. So. That's that. Uh, I'm going to look... Hungry though, so we'll just grab a little bit. Oh god, I feel so slow now. Wow, okay. Uh, that soldier's staff really does give you a boost. Right, so that's that. So I need uh, three iron, three diamonds. I want some golden nuggets. Uh, I also want a stick. I also want there was something else I needed. Um, I need the Nether Star as well. That's it, I think. Let me just double check. So I'm going to try and get these wings now. Uh, I'm, I'm normally I would go for the dragon wings, but this time I'm going to go for a little bit of a change and go for the golden wings because I haven't never had them before. Uh, I think twice I've gone for the dragon wings, so I'm going to go for something a little bit different. So we need two golden nuggets, four gold, I must have got the gold, and two of the unstable ignits. Um... We need four gold as well. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And we need a standard vanilla crafting bench. Done. Okay, so chances are I will die. I normally do. Uh, so we will just. Oh, I, say, I feel so slow now. We are the uh, the sash. So we'll just nip over here. Normally, first attempt, I do normally die, but uh, let's just make sure we've got everything. So for the uh, obviously, you can probably tell that I'm also wanting the uh, the builder's wand as well. Oh, it's obsidian, not a stick. Why did I think it was a stick? Hmm. Good thing I did just double check that, so just bear with me for one second. There we are, thank you very much. Uh, so I'll just get back real quick. Okay, this is as good as area as any to die in, I suppose. So, uh, we will just do... Uh, one at a time, and no point trying to rush everything. Uh, so, uh, let's have a look. That's that and that. That's fine. Just double check the recipe for this. 
Okay, so hopefully this should be a little bit easier than getting the wings. Uh, but, yep. And yep, that's the builder's wand. Nice. Okay, and hopefully we can uh, do this. Excuse me. Oh, what is going off? Oh, of course. Told you I was going to die. I think it's already gone, but I need to click yet. Oh, um, hee haw, let me just get these out of there so I don't lose them. And, whoa, yeah, I'm about to say. I was about to say that. Uh -huh, right, so I'll just grab this pickaxe. And we need two more diamonds. more iron. We should have actually lost them. I don't think we should have lost anything else, but who knows. Uh, where did I put it? Over here. Uh, and they're all talking about having a building's one, so have you, have you heard this? Uh, let's see, for our school, yeah, I would kill for a builder's wand. Come at me, bro. <laughs> um, right then, let's try this again because that was a complete and utter noob mistake. Uh, so I've got everything. I just need to do this. And this, and then this, and this. And we got our golden wing. See, I told you it's always on the second time, but I know... First time I did really do a bad mistake. And there are my golden wings. They don't look bad at all. I may create myself some dragon wings just to have the option. Because obviously, you know, I am supposed to be a dragon in this. But, uh, yeah, cool. So there we are. I can now fly in creative. So that should make life a little bit easier on me. Uh, I don't know how well they would actually work on uh, underwater. I don't know if they would actually help me or not. Yeah, it is actually a little bit faster. The world's not loading in, but yeah, that works. Haha, <laughs> cool. Very cool. Right then, so I think I should probably end this episode here. Uh because I don't really know how long I've been at this. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, so, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, I hope that you have a very good day as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.